Hey, how's it going? This is uh, Marty Kokish and welcome to my garage. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to put a uh, aftermarket car stereo in your car. Um, I've got the, I, I bought one for the BMG and it's not getting a whole lot of use so I figured I'd uh, throw it in my wife's Jeep. So uh, this will be putting an aftermarket stereo in a 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So here's a couple of the things that you're going to need. Uh, so most importantly, you're going to need an aftermarket radio. Um, here's the adapter that I picked up for uh, uh, for the car. It's uh, uh, it's a DIN to DIN and a half uh, converter, so this will fit uh, in the slot that's left open by my radio. And, okay. And uh, another thing I've got here is uh, I've got a uh, wiring harness adapter. Basically, uh, these wires right here, uh, these will match up to the wires uh, that come out of the stereo. Now, as far as tools, um, uh, basically, two kinds of wire splicers that I use most of the times for, I use something like this for most of my home electrical wiring and stuff, uh, I find it much easier to use and stuff, but actually for this, I'm going to use something like this. When you're this. using butt connectors like this. Um, so basically, let me open this guy up. just looks like this. Uh, it's metal inside. Uh, you stick wire into one end, the other wire into the other, and then you'll uh, slip this into here, crimp them, it'll hold the wire in place, and and that's about it. Um, so, and then lastly, you know, screwdrivers or whatever the hell else you need to uh, get your uh, get your dash apart. Um, you know, it's Kind of, kind of going to be a mystery depending on what you're after. But for the most part, uh, Phillips head, flathead screwdriver should do the trick. Um, I'm sure you're going to stumble across some, maybe some small sockets or whatever. So have some, uh, have socket wrench and stuff handy. But that's about okay. It. So for starters, I've disconnected the uh, the wiring harness from the stereo uh, just to work with it a little bit easier. And I've got my uh, my new adapter deal. And I'm just going to match up these wires and. Uh, Put them together with the butt connectors. So, but here you uh, go. Uh, this is pre-stripped, so I don't have to worry about it. But that's about how much you'll need to uh, to take off of the wire. Not not a whole lot. I don't know, like quarter or half inch, whatever. Um, and then you just uh, insert it into the butt connector, uh, just enough so it touches. So it, you know it's it's pretty firm in the in the metal lining in there. And then uh, I kind of screwed up when I told you. Uh, to use this part of the of the stripper that's actually for uh, like coax um, like, a, like a house uh, TV um, connector thing but so you, you take uh, it's actually on uh, this top end and mine happens to be marked with the different colors of the different connectors so the middle one here is uh, is blue so that'll crimp uh, a blue butt connector the right amount without over crimping it or whatever so but basically just sticking this into here uh, crimp down make sure this is uh, this is nice and firm you don't want it to wiggle out while it's uh, you know once you got the stereo all in and it's in your dash that would be a pain in the ass so there's that okay so remember that part I was talking about where the, the colors of the wires will just match up and stuff completely ignore that um, because these didn't at all. <laughs> so the luckily, uh, let's see here it is. The the adapter on the back of the packaging had this uh, handy dandy legend that tells what each of the wires do, um, and the ones coming out of the stereo are labeled, so I could match them up. So they're doing the right things, but um, you know, rarely like here we've got you know purple going to blue, we've got white going to yellow, and none of it really uh, matched up so um, yeah so next up we're gonna actually take apart the dash and put it in okay uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I've already loosened it but this trim panel underneath the stereo this will need to come out just pops right out uh, on the other side it's kinda dark over there but on the other side there's this one that goes around the uh, the light controls and stuff. This just pops out too. And as you can see, hiding behind there, here, and you know, there's a couple other ones, but um, all these screws will need to come out. 
Um, and then up under the lip, up under here, there's see, four or five screws that are going to need to come up. And then um, I believe this this whole dash piece up here will come out. Okay, so after those screws came out, that entire top piece of the dash just popped right out. So um, now it looks like I've got two 10 millimeter bolts, one here, one there, and then after that the, the old radio should come right out. Okay, now I've got that uh, radio out. And you can see here's the two plugs that are going to go into the adapter I have. And then this guy right here is the antenna and that'll plug uh, right into the radio itself. So, uh, time to put the new one in. Okay, um, next up we're gonna get the, uh, the uh, adapter plate deal ready to go in. Um, and uh, they have several different holes and stuff on here to accommodate for different cars and models and years and stuff like that. But uh, basically all I'm concerned with is uh, what side's up and what side's down. And uh, if, uh, you know, from looking at the the stock radio I just took out of there, um, looks like it's going to use this hole and this hole. So I know this is the top. Um, basically, what I'm going to want to do is uh, here I've got the the new stereo and stuff, and uh, it's got this sleeve around it, and uh, I want to put this sleeve in the adapter. So you'll either have two little metal slot things that go in here and and push out on these clasps that hold it in. Or you can just use like a flathead screwdriver pry up on it, and then this will come right off. Um, and then this guy right here, it's got a bunch of little flanges and stuff. So depending on what type of adapter you're using to put it in your dash and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna take this, put it in here. So get it in there nice and snug. And then uh, the, the flanges that uh, are either behind or make contact with the lip of the adapter, you want to push those out with uh, uh, something like a screwdriver, something like that, and that'll keep this locked firmly. Well, the first thing I'm going to do um, when putting this back together is I'm going to hook up the wiring harness because uh, it's a lot easier to get at this stuff while it's still open rather than uh, trying to reach in through the little slot for the radio. So do that right now. Okay we got the uh, the adapter assembly deal and uh, got the harness in, got our uh, antenna right there so next up we just need to put in the, uh, the stereo. Okay um, so we've got everything in, put back together, plugged in and now would be the time to test. Um, so uh, uh, be sure everything works and uh, all your speakers are working and if that's the case, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, put your dash back together and you're good to go. Um, otherwise, uh, double check your wires and make sure none are loose or anything, but uh, that is about it. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.